When we think about technology for construction, it doesn't necessarily have to be the big shiny object. Construction needs something incredibly practical that they can implement and use now. When standards has been discussed before, we always throw out uh, sentences like, uh, it will never work, we are too different, uh, why would they listen to us? There was a lot of naysayers around the PDF file format itself. A lot of people, especially those who are in the forward forefronts of what's changing the industry, don't really see PDF as futuristic or as the key to unlock the future potential. But for the contractors, it truly is that. We can't speak in those sentences anymore because there are similarities here. Other, otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do this. Productivity in UK construction hasn't really shifted. And there are all sorts of reasons for that. How do we get everybody into a place where, where you can make the most effective use of technology? It's that stretch, that spectrum, I suppose, that gives us the biggest challenge. There is nothing, nothing secretive about it. As we saw in the meeting, we were finishing each other's sentences almost. Now that we're all becoming digital, it means we actually need to come to consensus and standardize quickly in order to make sure that the digital technology that we're investing in can work at its best capacity. And so telling stories like this really allows it to go from something super dry and boring to we're talking about things that people are doing to empower themselves to do their work better. I really made it my mission to say, okay, the world is my classroom. And so as I sat in those rooms, I just listened and observed and heard what they said. Every time we, we sort of meet up, it's like, did you ever think that this was going to be this big? And I was like, no, not in a million years. This is not the silver bullet in itself, but it's a great example, I think, of, uh, of how we can make that shift. I think it's, it's part of the answer to the productivity problem. It's not about the technology. It's about what the individuals can do with the technology and how it's changing the way they view each other. For technology to help humans build trust is kind of a magical thing. If you're just coming into the industry, it gives you hope. If you're in the middle of your career, it gives you passion to continue pushing. And if you're near the end of your career, seeing this type of transformation just makes you wish you had 10 years more.